I'm so mad at myself about this one. Okay, so I made some oatmeal cookies, and I love oatmeal cookies. I love oatmeal raisin. They're oatmeal raisin haters, and that's all right, but I love it. I love the chew, and um, so I was like, ooh, I want to make these up. I forget what day I did this, uh, but... And I was excited, too, because I had these tart, dried tart cherries. I was like, oh, I won't do oatmeal or I won't do raisins. I'll do these dried cherries. And I was like, oh, I could do cherry chocolate chip. And it was so exciting. And this felt good to do a nice recipe, cookbook recipe. Um, and it was looking great. The batter was nice. It was pretty good distributed. I was making so many. So I was going to give cookies to people. But then... I overcooked them. You'll see here, but oh, I'm so frustrated. They came out and the the bottom was crispy. It was like perfect for a chocolate chip, but I forgot you need a nice soft oatmeal oatmeal cookie. So, and I don't think I properly rinsed off the silicone pads because also the bottom is kind of taste a little like soap. So, uh, oh gosh, I I should have checked with my friends Gus and Maya because I gave them some. But they're the only people I gave, and then I was like, oh, it kind of tastes like soap. So big time Christmas screw up. I've gone full Grinch because I'm so mad at myself about these oatmeal cookies that were not satisfying. You don't want a crunchy oatmeal cookie. Yuck. Uh, 